Hi, John McElroy here, talking all things automotive. Today I want to talk about why Tesla is so successful. I call this the seven secrets to Tesla's success. But those of you who have been following Tesla closely know that there's not really any secrets here. Some of you already know what I'm about to tell you, but a lot of people, especially those in the auto industry, have no clue how differently Tesla is doing things differently from legacy automakers. And while some of you probably heard about some of the things I want to cover today, you probably have not had it laid out in a logical step-by-step -step progression. So let me share with you the things that I've learned. Today, legacy automakers are scrambling to try and replicate Tesla's success. But I believe only three of them, probably Ford, Toyota, and Renault, truly understand what they're up against. The rest of them seem to believe all they have to do is double down on the old way of doing things to catch up. I don't think that's going to work. Ford, Toyota, and Renault are the only ones who have carved out standalone EV business units and are treating them as startup companies. I think that's the right way to go, but it doesn't guarantee that they're going to be able to pull it off. You see, Tesla is playing by a completely different set of rules. The way it designs, engineers, manufactures, and sells its cars is very different than anyone else has done before. In fact, the way Tesla runs its business is different from any other company that I'm aware of, not just the automotive ones. Here's what I've learned about how Tesla does things. I don't claim that this is a full or comprehensive list of how it does things differently, but there's enough here to show the legacy automakers just how far behind they are. The first secret starts with first principles. Elon Musk has talked about this for years. That's the idea of going back to basic physics to figure out what you're trying to do. It is Tesla's most important guiding principle. Instead of benchmarking other automakers or tearing down competitors' vehicles to analyze them or coming up with some kind of workaround, Tesla uses basic physics to figure out how to overcome any engineering problem. This is exactly how SpaceX figured out how to land rockets vertically when everyone else said it was impossible. The second secret is developing a software-defined vehicle, or what's called an SDV. That's where every single function in a car is defined in software, from managing the battery pack to raising and lowering the windows to whatever. Legacy automakers are also getting into SDVs, but so far they've only done bits and pieces of it. Tesla's been doing SDVs for over a decade, and the legacies are not going to get there until around 2025. Once a vehicle is defined in software, then it's possible to update it without adding any hardware. All you need to do is beam new software over the air and into the car. Tesla has even improved suspension dynamics and braking and even the sound system with over-the-air updates. Legacy automakers can do some OTAs, but it mainly involves updating navigation maps or putting new icons on the infotainment center. The third secret is using a zonal centralized computing system in the vehicle. That's where all electronic controls are laid out by different zones in a car, the left side and the right side, the front and the back. Legacy automakers group their computers by domains, domains that include powertrain or brakes or steering or chassis. They don't do it by zone. But by using zones, Tesla can use far less wiring, which cuts weight and cost. And Tesla uses centralized computing to control it all. Literally, a couple of powerful microprocessors to handle almost all of the computing. Legacy automakers have chips in just about every component in a car, including the lights and the seats and the window lifts and the door locks, you name it. This is why the legacies were crippled when the chip shortage hit and why Tesla was largely unaffected. Tesla just doesn't use as many chips. Most legacy automakers will have SDVs and zonal centralized computing around 2025. That means in 2025, they'll catch up to where Tesla was in 2010. And that's gotta make you wonder how far ahead Tesla's going to be in 2025. The fourth secret involves using digital twins to develop cars and how they're manufactured. A digital twin is exactly what it sounds like. It's a twin of a product or a process that exists in the digital world. That means you can operate every single function in a car in the digital world 
to make sure everything works properly before you commit to hardware. Even more, you can create a digital twin of a factory and run it in the digital world to work out any problems before you commit to putting, putting up bricks and mortar. One reason why Tesla can build new assembly plants so quickly is that it's been building digital cars in digital factories well before the real world job one rolls down the line. Digital twins also explain why Tesla does design changes on the fly, either on the cars themselves or in its manufacturing operations. It can test out everything quickly with its digital twins, make sure it's going to work, and then put it into production. Legacy automakers typically take years to make design changes. The fifth secret involves putting all the engineers on a program in one room, reporting to one person. Legacy automakers, of course, are organized in silos. Design is located separately from engineering, which is separate from manufacturing, which is separate from purchasing, and so on down the line. Even most legacy engineering departments are organized in silos, which adds layers of management and bureaucracy and slows down communication and decision making. Tesla's sixth secret to success is not really much of a secret because everyone knows about it. That's how Tesla sells cars. Its direct sales to customers eliminates the acres of inventory that you see on the lots of every legacy dealership. Ford estimates that gives Tesla a $2,000 per unit cost advantage simply from eliminating most of that inventory. Some people believe that the savings come from eliminating the dealer's profit, but the real savings come from getting rid of all that inventory. And the seventh secret is that Tesla has a software operating system for the whole company, not just an OS for its cars, but an OS for the company that replaces a myriad of other purchased software systems. It handles Tesla sales, financial services, accounts payable, human resources, including hiring, document generation, and a host of other functions. All the software for this OS was written in-house, which is how Tesla does things, in-house. Look, there's far more details that go into each of these secrets, but in the interest of brevity, this should give you a clear picture that Tesla runs far differently than any other legacy automaker. The reason why I think Ford, Toyota, and Renault are the only automakers who recognize what they're up against is because they're the only ones that have carved out separate EV business units that are going to function like startups. That's what I believe it's going to take to compete with Tesla, a startup mentality, because the old way of doing things just isn't going to work.